Hi there, this is Lori from More Art from the Heart. I'd like to share another project with you if you don't mind. I love shopping at thrift stores. And the other day I happened to be in our local uh, thrift store here and saw a package that looked like it had birdhouses in it. And in fact, they were little tiny birdhouses. I thought these would be fun to try to do something different with that I haven't seen before. So I actually picked through these and decided the easiest ones to cover with paper and decorate were the chipboard ones and some of the wooden ones. So I started first um, with this one right here. It is actually two inches tall. It is the tallest one that I'm using in this project. So you can imagine the rest of them are pretty small. Like this one here is less than an inch tall, including the little thing I put up there on the top. These were really fun to try to come up with unique different looks to them. Here I've actually added a chimney to this one. And it's got lace coming out of it and pearl um, spray coming out of the top of it. Uh, they were really quite unique to try to decorate something that tiny. I had I hadn't done that before, something so small. I actually took and inked each of the um, papers uh, before I placed them on there in the browns. I used a, my favorite pink paper pack to decorate them all with. And I wanted to do something different, as I said. So I started off by taking a piece of chipboard, and I painted it white, and then I glued cork um, that I sell in my art fire store. I took an assortment of those, glued them down into various places on the chipboard. I took an awl and kind of poked holes down into the cork, made it nice and easy using the cork to put the dowels in. And then I painted that all white. And then I took this trim that I have that looks like vines, of uh, flowers and leaves. And I wound that up around the dowels and glued that in place and then placed all of the different little birdhouses um, on all of the dowels that are in there. I tried to put them at different heights and, and various sizes. So this is a look at the package of cork that I sell in my art fire store and I have the link down below. I also can package these up. This is a variety pack but I can package them up in certain sizes if you like. Just let me know be happy to do that. Alright, so here's another look at some of the different angles so you can see some of the different looks to each of the birdhouses that I came up with. I covered them in lace trims. You can see some of the pearl going around there. Um, I tried to find the smallest little trims that I have. I mean those are just really tiny, believe me. And I use stickles some little pink stickles to kind of give them all a sweet look and then placed them this whole thing glued it right down to a bottom of a bird cage I thought I haven't seen someone put bird houses inside a bird cage before so I thought that was kind of special and different I'm going to add some different elements after I put this in here I decided that I also needed some pearl strands um, coming up from the bottom like they're growing up at, out of the bottom of the cage there. The flower you see right there in the front kind of nestled in there is one, uh, one I made. I started with a paper doily and it's got ribbons and lace and a flat back pearl uh, pendant right in the middle there. And if you look up at the very top, you can see a little butterfly. I've got little butterflies uh, throughout, some on the, on the birdhouses themselves and some just on the uh, floating around in different places in there. The white you see in there is actually a bed of white flowers. Sorry, a bed of white feathers. I thought bird feathers, birdhouse. I thought how cute that would be to make it look like as if they were actually floating in there on this bed of white feathers. I also finished off the outside of the cage with some 
a wide sheer ribbon that actually gathered up and kind of um, glued and attached in places going from the front corner up the side and up over the top you'll be able to see that in just a moment and then adding some lace with that I didn't actually want to cover up too much of the outside of the cage because I wanted the main focus to be inside the cage with all the little tiny um, elements that were inside there so here you get a better look of what I did on the outside of the cage I'm going to try to videotape it here sorry if I make you dizzy it's hard to hold on to it and, and try to go I'm trying to go around at different angles so that you could get a look at how it looks you see there I've got some pearl strands on the outside of the cage that I actually weaved in and out of the ribbon and the lace also some pearl sprays the roses are I am roses I've taken and the white ones and they actually have glimmer mist on them also added a butterfly at the top there that's one of those feathered ones that you can pick up at Michaels I wanted to give it that little pink touch to the top of it. Here you see as you come down, see some of the little butterflies that are attached in different places inside there. If I could have found little tiny, tiny birds that would have went with it, I sure would have put those in there too. That would have been really cute. This was definitely, I think, something different for me. I really enjoyed making them, though. What do you think? Do you like it? Did it work out? Thank you so much for peeking in on me and seeing what I create. I always enjoy all your lovely comments. You guys are just the best out there. Have a great day.